Today's the day of the, I want to call it green guitar, but oh, look at how dirty I made this. <laughs> Hello, fans of the art thing. I'm going to call this art because it is an art shape. And when I first saw it, when my buddy Dan sent me a picture, uh, I wanted to not like it, but I remember what happened with the St. Vincent, where I saw the St. Vincent was like, that's crap, who the crap designed this, what the crap were they thinking, and then I got it in my hands and was like, ah, that's why. So I wasn't going to jump to conclusions again. I actually really like uh, the color scheme, and I was like, well, it's, it's probably smaller than it looks in pictures, and it, and it is. Um, so what is this? It is again Music Man reacting to the very specific wishes of one of the endorsers, and it's probably the company that goes further to accommodate the artist than any other. So this is the signature model of Omar Rodriguez Lopez. Lopez. I don't know how to say these things in the correct term. Uh, neurology. Omar Rodriguez Lopez, that guy. Um, apparently he's, he's only four weeks younger than I am, which makes us both old farts. Um, he's, of course, the guitar player for uh, the Mars Volta uh, solo projects, many, many other things that he's done. He's got a huge list of things that he's worked on. Frankly, my problem is presenting this guitar to an Omar Rodriguez Lopez or Mars Volta fan is very difficult because I listened to as much as I could and I really absolutely don't get it. It's just not my music. Sorry, Omar. It just really doesn't work for me. It is completely chaotic. Um, he had an Ibanez signature model with only a single chord in the back. That made sense because it's all chaotic and weird anyway. Now he's got two humbuckers, no single chord options at all. He changed his taste? I don't know. But the thing is, I can't review this as a Mars Volta fan guitar because I'm not. So I'm going to review this as a guitar that happens to be an Omar Rodriguez Lopez. Can't say this. Omar oh, an Omar Rodriguez Lopez signature model. But let's put that aside. Sorry, Omar. Let's just look at it as an axe. We have two humbuckers, which are Music Man proprietary. I'm going to look at, actually at the website and cheat sheet a bit here. So a fan of mine uh, told me in a post, Mariposa apparently means butterfly, which, look at it. I mean, it couldn't be more aptly named. Um, so it's, uh, it comes in four different colors, black, white with gold hardware, then a shell pink with a, a nickel, and then this, which is called Dorado Green. So we have, technically, when I play this and I look at it, I'm like, how is this different than a Stingray? Two humbuckers, three position switch, trem. It's a freaking Stingray in a different shape. Yes and no, obviously, inlays. But in terms of the actual tonal qualities, it should be a Stingray. With the one exception that the body is not mahogany and then roasted maple neck. The body in this case is Okume. I don't know what that is, but that's what that is. And whatever that is, that's good. Um, so let's go through a couple stats. Uh, it's an Okume body. Uh, we have uh, of Imperial Black, Imperial White, Pueblo Pink, and Dorado Green. Black, White, Pink, and Green. Uh, so there's a Music Man Modern Tremolo with Chevron cover and vintage steel saddles. So that's actually pretty interesting. These saddles are vintage saddles, if you look at it. Just with a cover on it. So that's a very cool trim. Uh, it is fixed on the uh, the body, so there's no up bending, there's only down bending. Um, it is a pretty big, thick trim block. Don't know if you can see this in the back there. Okay. Um, then we got... Uh, Black, white, or the different kind of color pick arts, and they make a they make a big thing about the pick art, uh, and the, uh, that's got to be more expensive. It's a lasered pick art, and they probably make fifty at a time. Who knows? But it is cool because what else would you put put on here? Would you put on a white one? No. Would you put on a black one? No. Would you just put on a green one? No. It, 
everything on this instrument, if you ask me, is beautifully designed. And this pickguard absolutely does make sense. Because what else would you put on here other than none? But I think this makes total sense. So let's talk about the perfect design in terms of colors. I love the very monochromatic color scheme. We have silver and we have white and we have white, mother of pearl. We have white and silver and the green. Everything absolutely matches. Look at the uh, tuner buttons up there, Leslie. Leslie's switching for me, by the way, in case you've never been to one of these videos. So I love matching headstocks. That's my thing. There's, of course, the Music Man uh, compensated saddle. You have the block inlays, which I'm not the biggest fan of block inlays, but I think everything on this puppy makes sense. Now, we've got two knobbies, and they're both, that's one thing I don't love on this, are volume. I don't need tone, but different volumes, hmm. And also getting to this back one is difficult going around the trem thing. So even getting to this one is a little bit, I wish it was a little bit more upfront. Uh, so... Yeah, if your tremolo is in the right position, but it is a little bit more difficult. Um, we have 22 frets, roasted maple, uh, ebony fretboard, beautiful side dots that are actually in the center. They don't look like lumen lays, which is why not? Because, I mean, on a guitar in this price range, why not lumen lays? It's not the porn roasted maple neck. It doesn't have flame or anything, but it's, it's good. Uh, then we have, again, uh, 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 high gloss up here, which is nice. You can see that they're locking tuners by Schaller. In this case, they actually work rather well. Schaller has let us down in the last couple of years, but it looks like they're getting their shit back together. Um, the, the, these are called Atlante blocks. I don't know why. Uh, neck is uh, oiled. And the, the Schaller M6... IND locking, gold or chrome. Uh, we have the truss rod adjustment right here with the uh, spoke wheel, that's perfect. We have five screws, rather small neck plate right here, but it works. This is a rather cool, uh, typical Music Man body to neck transitional area kind of a thing. We have, of course, the cavity cover, which is not recessed, and no one at Music Man can actually tell me why they do that, other than saving money. Saving money in this price range cannot be, an, uh, some, cannot, cannot be something that we can accept. The thing is 3700 in Germany. Uh, let me see if I find a US price. Interesting. That, that puts a whole new spin on this. At Sweetwater, the... Uh, Mariposa in Dorado Green and Shell Pink is $28.99. The black or white one, for reasons, are 100 bucks more. Yeah. I think they're, are they the deluxe? I don't know. I don't know what's different. Why are they 100 bucks more? Just because of the, of the color? But let me put it this way. $28.99 for this puppy, highly recommended. Wow. Okay, I know that in Germany, let's see... We're looking at $26.99, uh, $36.99, sorry. So we're kind of almost a thousand bucks higher, 800 or whatever. Um, we have 500 kilo ohm volume per uh, pickup and a three position switch. There is no left hand option, comes with tens. I would assume they're only balls. Um, so that's it for all the stuff I can read on the website and I can find out for you. So $28.99 in the US, $36.99 in Germany. It comes in a case, usually the Music Man cases are very sturdy, uh, plastic SKB style cases. Uh, this one came in a Music Man rather small, uh, kind of a leather, wouldn't normal case. I don't know if that is standard. This is a prototype. So this actually goes back to Paris to the headquarter dude that lent it to me. So thank you for doing that. And thanks, Chris, uh, for setting this up so I could actually have a, a first look at this. 
Um, so I don't know if that case is standard. It says Music Man inside, so it looks like a Music Man case. Could be something that Omar wanted, uh, which is also nice. It's a rather small uh, case, which I like. So um, I've played with this for a week now, and I have to tell you that before you hear it, it's fucking brilliant. I don't know what it is about it, whether it's the neck, the pickups, the everything, you heard the track in the beginning, there are those notes that when you hit them, you just go, ah! it's like, oh my god, I can't believe I hit that. I, I sat here and I played through a bunch of Elevated Jam tracks by my friend Tom James, he's brilliant, check out his channel, Elevated Jam tracks, um, and I just kept playing one after another and was just like, wow, and I was practicing, and it is a great tool. Um, so we're gonna go clean sounds, and that's the thing, in the front, it's as round as it gets. You're hearing the ox with the cream back loaded for 12. some reverb and delay. gets much spankier and the highs come out. Beginning here in the in the front, much rounder. Beautiful roundness. And then and in the back, of course. As I said, there is no uh, single call option at all. You're hearing the Tone King, by the way, right there. Which matches ultra beautifully. So in the middle, of course, you can mix. I don't think I, I ever would. So two volume knobs for me don't make sense, but this is a signature guitar and it makes total sense for Omar. Mm -hmm. The tramp works fantastic. Mm -hmm. Put a little bit of drive on that from the SUV pedals high rider. Actually, let's go different amps. Come on. Uh, because that's what you want to know. We're going to go into the Marshall SV20H. Which is a 
of course, a plexi. <laughs> So we'll do the AC20, which is Voxy. play that chord. JCM 800, cranked up, rock and roll. to the orange rock of verb 50. Let's crank that. Twenty-two frets, but don't expect to actually get there. 
uh, yes, this is rounded, but there is pretty bad higher fret access. It's a signature model, the guy doesn't need it, what can I do? go into the Friedman uh, BE module on the SIN 50. Get used to the two knobbage, and then we have the ref 100p. I'm actually gonna switch the brand new V30 cap on the ox because, well. by Ernie Ball. Absolutely, weirdly, beautifully uh, looking. And <laughs> so, who is this guitar for? Well, with the right cap and the right amp, I wouldn't say that this thing can't metal. I actually think it very... Oh my god. Oh The Mariposa by Music Man. Um, yeah, so I wouldn't say that this thing can't metal. I think it absolutely can. And uh, visually, I think this fits into the indie band, the jazz band, the pop rock thing. And why not the metal outfit, even in this color or shell pink? Um, so stylistically, very diverse. Sound-wise, very diverse. Beautiful, clean, round jazz tones. Amazing singing leads right there. Uh, you can do beautiful cleans and picky stuff because you, you have the highs. And this is the rock god position. Uh, this, with a Marshall-y or a friedman -y amp, uh, you're, this is rock and roll right there. This, in any rock band, you're good. And you don't look like the guy who's, who's got the wannabe Les Paul and who wants to be Clapton. No, you look, well, different. It is beautifully balanced. Um, it is a smaller body, comes in a case. Now, when I first saw it, I was like, 
I think these edges are too sharp. I wish they were rounded off. Well, in the back, they are rounded off. And now I don't know, because this looks too soft. It is cool that they're rounded off because it's more ergonomic. It makes total sense. So I think, yeah, this brings out the sharp edges that I didn't like in the beginning. They do bring out the shape quite a bit more. So I think visually this is a stunner. This just pulls out, by the way, um, with everything. I usually don't like frilly stuff, but it's just the right amount of frill. Um, Price-wise, it's a bolt-on guitar. It's a factory guitar. It's not custom. Um, in the US, totally fine. In Europe, well, if you want it, get it. I, I think it's absolutely unique, and for that uniqueness you pay. The other thing that you have to remember, a signature guitar means that the signature artist gets money. Every time you buy this, Omar Rodriguez Lopez gets paid. And that's absolutely okay that he gets paid. He should get paid, but you have to know that part of your money goes there. So a guitar like this, if it wasn't signature, would be a little bit cheaper. But that's just part of the game. You have to know that. Now, negatives. Why isn't this sunk in, you know that's my pet peeve with those guitars. Um, it is, for me, it is a shredder's wet dream. I feel like I can play stuff on this that I don't play on any other instrument. I feel like I'm an amazing guitar player with this thing. It is an absolute shredder's wet dream. Can't think of anything else. Uh, yet, no high fret access. Uh, it only has 22 frets, and realistically, the last four are tough to get to. You get up to 19, 22, yeah, you get up to 19, okay, but then you're really stretching there. So obviously it's a signature guitar and Omar doesn't need to go up there, but you have to know when you shred and you play solo stuff, don't, don't figure in the high frets for the middly, squiddly, fast stuff. It just isn't gonna happen. Trem is great. Um, so, high fret access, price is up to you. The thing in the back is what I bitch about. And the thing that I'm a little bit disappointed about is there are one, two, three, four screws on this beautiful pickguard. But, because of that, there's a little bit of tension between these and this in the pickguard and it kind of, don't know if you can see this. Right there. See how it stands up a bit? Comes off. It, it comes off the guitar a tiny bit. So it, this is a, I mean, who gives a shit? But I kind of wish that wasn't there. I kind of wish that was, it, it would have required that screw to be half a millimeter further that way. And then that wouldn't happen. Or maybe the uh, hole in the pickguard. Whatever. I'm just saying that's something that I look down here all the time because I'm switching the switch to be thing and it bugs me a little bit. All that being said, the high fret access and all that, I'm getting one of these. Music Man asked me, so I'm the, here's the deal. This is an unpaid video, yet I have to give the guitar back. But they asked me, because I already have a couple of Music Man guitars, what's the next thing you'd be interested in? And yeah, many guitar, cha many guitar channels show the uh, Majesty, and that's an amazing guitar. That is erg erg ergonomy, ergonomy, ergonomically amazing. I don't know how to say the word. Um, but everyone's showing it, and I wanted something different. And then I played this, and I was like, I want this. So there's a very good chance that this is coming back when they're in production and that uh, I'm getting one from the production line uh, for me to keep, and it's gonna be here, and you see it in many videos, because I think, especially for the solo stuff, that tones are ridiculous, and for the Rocky stuff, for the rhythm, it's, I think it really serves a great purpose, and also visually, it'll stand out in many videos, so I think for me and my purposes, this is a great guitar, and on, uh, well, for me not having to pay for it, this is a great guitar, but you have to know this, when you see it on my channel, uh, it is a long-term placement from Music Man that I'm not getting paid for, but I get to keep an amazing instrument that I picked in that color. So, that being said, uh, check it out when you're in a store. 
or if you really fall in love with it right here, order one, there's money back. There are links to Toma and Sweetwater be, uh, below my video and they help me, so please use them. Um, check it out, I really think you will not regret getting this. Because since it arrived, I can't put it down. And that's the only thing that matters. The only thing that matters when you get a guitar, do you want to play it all the freaking time? And the answer is, yes you do. I at least do, which is why I'm getting one. So uh, thanks for watching. Thanks to Musik Meyer and Chris for sending this over. Thanks uh, Pia, I think your name is. Uh, thanks Omar for creating this with Music Man. It is unique and special and cool. Um, and uh, thanks Leslie for switching this and Animals at the end.